Good morning to all of you. My name is Dr. Tom Arcaro, and I'm a faculty member at Elon University in the United States. I have the distinct privilege of directing the Periclean Scholars Program at my university. Before I proceed further, I want to thank Nishan Gunasakera and all of the hardworking staff at the Wiramantri International Center for Peace Education and Research for making this year's Training for Trusteeship a reality. It is indeed a profound honor to address all of you, and I'm humbled by the opportunity to have the attention, if, e if even for only a few short moments, of such a spectacular gathering of young women and men. I offer my most sincere thanks for the opportunity to be part of this event. My understanding is that representatives are attending this year's training for trusteeship from nine different nations. And again, my congratulations go out to both the Wiramantri Center for making this happen and to all of you many delegates that were selected to be part of this historic gathering. I very much wish I could be there with all of you, but I have duties here at Elon, one of which is to help the Periclean Scholars Class of 2012 plan a conference in Pune, India, that will take place this coming January. Their plan was inspired by LEAF, the Leaders in Environmental Advocacy Forum that took place in Colombo, Sri Lanka last January and that was organized by the Periclean Scholars Class of 2011 in partnership with many organizations, including the Wiramantri Center. I left LEAF last January with many wonderful memories, but the part that stimulated me most was the new and exciting ideas I heard from our many distinguished speakers. My hope for you is that you will, as well, be inspired by your experiences at Training for Trusteeship this week, and that the theme Youth Activation will come alive through your actions and ideas. I do not know each of you personally, with the exception of the two Elon students who sit among you, but allow me the presumption that I'm able to describe you, describe you all as exemplary global citizens. Here is a modest list of 12 characteristics that I suspect fit, or soon will fit, all of you. So, what is an exemplary global citizen? First and foremost, an exemplary global citizen always sees the long view and works toward the goal of making a better life for our children, their children, and their children, on to many generations. To quote from a document written by the indigenous people of my country, we must, quote, look and listen for the welfare of the whole people and have always in view not only the present, but also the coming generations, even those whose faces are yet beneath the surface of the ground, the unborn of the future nation. Two, an exemplary global citizen has a profound sense of urgency. According to UNICEF, nearly 30,000 children under the age of five die every day from causes directly related to poverty and that number is certainly higher just now with the famine crisis in the Horn of Africa. There is no time to waste. Engaged citizens must act now in response to chilling facts such as these. Three, an exemplary global citizen is inclusive and works toward the goal of creating a more just world for everyone, regardless of gender, ethnicity, tribe, clan, or nation. To me, this means working especially hard for the rights of women and children. To paraphrase the activist Bono, neither distance nor difference determine who is and who is not your brother or sister. Four, critically, an exemplary global citizen realizes that we are one species among many and that we must be keenly aware of our relationship to the environment. We, could not, we cannot ignore, for example, global climate change. We must replace our egocentrism with ecocentrism. Five, an exemplary global citizen has the courage of their convictions and knows that what is right is not always what is popular or easy. Indeed, as observed by George Bernard Shaw, all evolution in thought and conduct must at first appear as heresy and misconduct. Number six, an exemplary global citizen knows that human agency exists, that we have free will, and that human history will unfold as directed by all of our actions. It is not hubris to assume having control over one's destiny, just the opposite. It is the sine qua non of one who knows that we, that we can change the world with our visionary works. 
An exemplary global citizen is thus the embodiment of the admonishment that comes from Mohandas K. Gandhi. Namely, you must be the change you want to see in the world. Seven, an exemplary global citizen appreciates and understands the tension between being a global citizen and a local citizen and plays both roles in a synergistic fashion. The local is always related to the global and vice versa. A global citizen takes seriously the words of Dr. Paul Farmer, co-founder of Partners in Health, who said, humanity is the only true nation. Next, an exemplary global citizen does not just passively dwell on what are his rights, but rather sees that being a member of any community must involve an array of responsibilities. She thus takes an active role and embraces leadership positions in her local and global community. We must always remember that with great privilege comes great responsibility. Nine, an exemplary global citizen has a clear and focused set of priorities. Not all problems are of equal importance. A global citizen learns from the world community as it arrived at the Millennium Development Goals, taking note of how the list was determined and what benchmarks were established for each goal. At the same time, a sober global citizen is aware that no action initiated with a pure heart is too small. We all learn to make social contributions based upon a grounded assessment of our capabilities and our resource limitations. 10. An exemplary global citizen works to create true partnerships as she addresses both local and global issues and never does something for other groups, but rather does something with other groups. A global citizen who forms lasting partnerships has listened to the words of Lily Walker, an Aboriginal woman who said, quote, if you are here to help me, you are wasting your time. But if you come because your liberation is bound up in mine, then let us begin. An exemplary global citizen knows that initiatives should never go forward without detailed and serious attention to the sustainability plans for the project. For example, building a rural health clinic makes for a warm sense of accomplishment in the short run, but these facilities will fail to remain standing if there are no plans for paying staff and for providing regular funds for upkeep and replenishment of supplies. Finally, let me close this list by positing that above all, an exemplary global citizen works toward peace among all groups of humans and, as such, is a lifelong and serious student of human nature and does not propose changes that fly in the face of who we are as a species. Here, allow me to quote one of America's former presidents, John F. Kennedy. In reference to global conf conflict, he said, quote, let us focus instead on a more practical, more attainable peace, based not on a sudden revolution in human nature, but on a gradual evolution in human institutions, on a series of concrete actions and effective agreements which are in the interest of all concerned. There is no single, simple key to this peace, no grand or magic formula to be adopted by one or two powers. Genuine peace must be the product of many nations, the sum of many acts. It must be dynamic and not static, changing to meet the challenge of each new generation. For peace is a process, a way of solving problems." End quote. Just as President Kennedy stressed that peace is a process, I will stress the same about being a global citizen. There is never an end point where now you are a global citizen. In each chapter of your life, I hope for you to deepen your understanding of your roles and responsibilities, always becoming a better, more complete global citizen. I submit that you are all now global citizens, and as you work together with each other in the coming days, I have every faith with your work and with your proposals, you will impress the organizers of this event with your passion, your creativity, your drive, and yes, your courage. The world needs you to begin taking leadership roles both here and now and later when you go back to your home nations and villages. Be active and engaged global citizens and with your words and actions ignite the flames of passion for a better world among all of your family, friends and fellow citizens. I wish you all the best on your journey in the next week and I will leave you with one more inspirational quotation to live by in the coming days. 
To give anything less than your best is to sacrifice the gift. Peace be with you.